Ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for tuning in to 91.1 WRMU. We are just minutes away from kickoff from Mount Union Stadium as the Purple Raiders get ready to take on Otterbein. And right beforehand, we got an interview here with Jared Ruth and Justin Hill. Guys, how are we doing today? Good, good. Very how you good. doing? Very good, guys. First to kick things off, Jared uh, and Justin, you know, you guys have been a, a major contributor uh, to an impressive offense uh, this season. Uh, Jared, uh, let's start with you. Have you guys, how have you guys been so successful this season? Uh, I think it really starts with uh, Coach Kappas on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, he brought a whole new offense to uh, to the team, and a lot of us have just bought in, and we're just really buying into everything he's saying, everything he's telling us. From little things to just like tucking the ball when we run to uh, blocking, that's major effort. He brought, uh, he made us bring a lot more effort than last year, so. Basically, he told us if we don't bring effort, we're not going to play. So I think everybody's just buying into that. Justin, what about you? Uh, same thing, uh, what he was saying. Uh, I don't know. It starts in practice, too. Yeah. Like, uh, as a team, we came a lot closer than last year, mm -hmm. um, falling short in the semifinals. Um, I think we all had a good off season too, because everybody, you know, we came back from camp, and we had a lot of people shout during camp. And uh, I don't know. We just had to pick from there. We had a lot of. A lot of players that showed out so and I mean we've seen it from both of you guys not only you know on the wide receiving core but I mean really every aspect of you know the Mount Union team uh, from the defense defensive line offense tackles everything uh, has come together for you guys so far mm -hmm. this season so Jared take us back to the opening game of the season against uh, North Carolina Wesleyan two punt returns for a touchdown uh, you have been dangerous on the punt returns. Uh, you and Trevor Cox, you know, switching up the duties back mm -hmm. and forth. Uh, take us through the technique that you have to go through uh, when returning for the special teams unit. Oh, well, really, it all starts with uh, Coach Kerr's and the scheme of the punt return. He uh, he works hard every week to make sure that our scheme is ready to go against whatever team we're facing. And then second, I mean, it's more so my blockers. Like, it's kind of less of my technique and more so – of them setting up the blocks, my job is really just to make like one one or two guys miss, and they set it up, and I just run around them. So, I mean, it's really those guys. And Justin and Jared, both of you right now tied for number one in the OAC uh, with touchdown receptions. Uh, is there anybody a bit of a battle there trying to be the best in the OAC? Or you just uh, getting the <laughs> getting the job done. We sharing the love. <laughs> yeah, we sharing the love, but uh, there's definitely you know. I want to do better than him. Right, but, yeah. <laughs> but he a baller, though, so, and, you know, he's going to get his regardless. So. so, guys, you know, to be exact, 10 touchdowns for each of you so far this season. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Justin, let's start with you. What was your main focus heading into the off season last year after that loss against Mary Hard Baylor? What did you have to improve on personally? My attitude, for one. Uh, I think I handled that a lot on the off season. Um, just working on my route running, too, getting in and out of breaks, uh, catching the ball and getting upfield. Uh that's pretty much it. I've just been grinding all summer. And Jared, what about you? The you know, what are the main focuses that you looked at when heading into the off season? Uh, my main thing was getting stronger. I felt like I was kind of smaller last year. Um, I dealt with a few injuries, so my main thing was getting stronger, trying to keep some more durability, and also uh, blocking. Like when the ball's away from me, working on my effort on the backside of plays. You know, I think that is a very you know underlooked thing for you guys on the offenses how good you guys have been on the blocks as far as wideouts go. I mean, you guys are really opening up the, the holes, whether it's Giangelo Fulford, you know, taking off for a run or they're giving the ball to Juwanza or uh, Petroselli. You guys right. have been able to do downfield blocking. I think that's been one of the, the key things for you guys this season on that offense. And, you know, Jared, you, you mentioned, you know, you've dealt with injuries, especially last season. Mm -hmm. Just kind of talk about, you know, what adversity you had to face and how you had to overcome that. Well, man, uh, adversity doesn't go away. Just last week, uh, I caught a ball for a touchdown and I actually got injured again last week. Mm -hmm. So I'm dealing with an injury. It's not, it's nothing serious. I probably won't play Saturday. So it's just, it's always adversity just trying to get through injuries. But I trust God, you know, and I trust all the processes that I go through. 
So, you know, I just take adversity as a test and as a challenge, and it just builds character, you know. So Definitely. And, uh, you know, Justin, looking at you, you got time your freshman year with a very young offense, a learning offense. Uh, you were able to put up 343 yards, 19 catches, four touchdowns. Very impressive for a freshman, you know, stat line. Uh, this season, through seven games, 602 yards, that leads the team, 26 receptions, 10 touchdowns. Uh, what was you know your main uh, thing looking at for your game that you had to improve? Obviously, you talked about attitude, but as far as on the field? Uh, definitely route running. Me, uh, Roos has been working with me on that, too, and uh, I think I improved in that. And uh, staying humble. Um, last year, I got away from that. I always, like, I wanted to be in the game. I wanted to be a part of the team, but it's a process, and I didn't know that at the time. But now I think it's... I'm it's definitely good. working out yeah, well for you guys. Something's yeah. going well, you know. <laughs> so, Jared, you know, we look at you last season, a stepping mm-hmm. stone for you. I mean, this is the first major playing time that you had uh, for Mount Union. 39 catches, 571 yards, seven touchdowns. Uh, this season so far, 468 yards, again, t- 10 touchdowns. Uh, your main focus, you know, that you've had to develop your game. Uh, like you said, backside of blocking, staying healthy, you know. Yeah, That's yeah. something I still mm-hmm. struggle with. Just got to stay healthy and um also, my route running, too. Sometimes I get tired. When when you get tired as a receiver, sometimes you break down on technique. So it's really just important to focus on running routes on the backside of plays, like I said earlier. And, you know, Justin, we look at you. You know, six foot two. You've been able to make highlight catches after catch this season. Savage. You know, so <laughs> <Savage>. <laughs> and you know, take us back to that ball and Wallace game. That's the one big thing that I look at. Uh, you know, Robert Powell comes in for D'Angelo. Uh, this technique that we've seen to switch the quarterbacks with Powell and Fulford. Uh, he throws the ball your way. The ball is thrown a little bit underthrown. Uh, you, however, are able to, with your height and the vertical to get over that covering defensive back. Come down with it for a touchdown. You know, take us through the steps it takes. You know, on how you're able to make plays such as that one. Uh, I just went up and got it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Those are the catches I love to make. So when it's thrown like that, I just try to catch anything that's thrown to me, mm-hmm. and uh, I just went up and made a play. Definitely, and I mean. We've seen it in the back then. I mean, we've seen it with you, especially in the Wilmington game. You got the touchdown, but mm-hmm. came down with a you know slight injury. Not yeah. too bad, but still. I mean, you guys have been, you know, there for D'Angelo throughout this season, really helping him out. Uh, so, Jared, you know, has there been any player for Mount Union, former or present, that has helped you with your game? Uh, present, I would say the whole receiving core. We all hold each other accountable. We all um, <laughs> hold each other to a standard. And when I'm not. At that standard, I have guys, starters, even to guys, you know, that aren't starting that will hold me accountable. So that's definitely a, a huge role that those guys play. And then also I would say a former player would be Coach Gullen, Paul Gullen. He's a Hall of Famer here. He's our receiver coach. He makes all of us better every day. Um, every day. He makes us focus on the little details to – from tucking the ball to not celebrating too much when we mm-hmm. score to, <laughs> to not trash talking. So, you know, he's probably the the key contributor to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Justin, same question to you. You know, has there been a Mountain Union player, former or present, that has really helped you? And if not, any mentor that's kind of helped you uh, guide you along the way? I'd probably just see the, say the present uh, receiving core right now. Um, we came together as brothers a lot this, uh, this season during the camp, and that's big because – Last year, I mean, there was like we weren't as close, right? And yeah. now we uh, we came together this year, and I don't know. I think we're gonna have a good shot at winning Stag this year. Definitely, and you know, bringing up Stag Bowl, guys. Uh, this question goes for both of you. You know, how does this team make it back to Stag Bowl and get it back on top uh, here in Division Three football? Jared, we'll start with you on that one. I would say just keep doing what we're doing, focusing on little things, taking it day by day, practice by practice, play by play. So I don't think it's a big secret formula or something to it. I think we just got to keep doing what we're doing. Justin? Uh, I honestly think um, we're going to beat ourselves, if anything. Um, I honestly uh, think no other team can compete with us. Um, not, I'm keeping it humble, too. Like We're just – I don't know. We're coach good. It's and just different. It's yeah, yeah, it's different. It you know, yeah, it looks like, you know, we talked to Fulford last week. It seems that this team is very hungry, and that's mm-hmm. what you guys have been playing under. You know, with three games left in the season, you guys got Otterbein uh, upcoming. You got Muskingum, and then you got John Carroll, obviously. You know, you got the bad taste in your mouth from last season yeah. with the loss to John Carroll. Um, and so, you know, you guys moving forward, have it appears that you've got, you guys have gotten better and better every single week. And, you know, that all starts with, Pretty much everybody being focused coming into that game, and we we talk about 
you know, the confusion coming into the season, who's going to be the quarterback taking the snaps? I mean, we saw three freshman quarterbacks last year get a chance, Mm -hmm. you know, between Dom Davis, Luke Porman, as well as D'Angelo Fulford. Fulford obviously dealing with the broken collarbone last season, coming back in an impressive way this season for you guys at quarterback, and he's the starter. Uh, I mean, he's been, I mean, phenomenal this year. Last week, 14 to 14, perfect, uh, throwing the ball uh, for you guys (coughs) against Wilmington. Um, He has been able to throw the ball with great precision to both of you guys. Um, And, Justin, we'll start with you. How have you guys been able to connect so well uh, with D'Angelo? Communication. Uh, In practice, you know, when when things don't go our way, we we go back in line and, you know, we talk about it and we just handle it that way. That way in game day it doesn't happen. Definitely. Jared? Uh, I say to go along with communication, I say repetition. A lot of times some of the receivers will stay after practice with D'Angelo get reps, especially uh, before game days, Thursday, Friday practices. So I think all that starts to add up eventually, and that's been paying off for us. And, guys, let's look at today's matchup against Otterbein. Uh, the Cardinals come in with a 5-2 and two record. Uh, the Cardinals' defense so far this season, giving up an average of 329 yards uh, through the air, 22 touchdowns passing. Uh, and so now it falls on you guys, Jared, obviously uh, – probably missing against mm-hmm. Otterbein, but still, Justin, we're looking at you as well as Jared. What is the main focus uh, to get a win against the Cardinals, Justin? Go get the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Got to. Um, just keep attacking them. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to stop our offense. Um, we prepared great this week, so we're going to see Saturday. Jared? Uh, I just say stick to the game plan. Just do what we've been, we've been coached to do. So, guys, last question to both of you. Uh, Jared, are there any receivers in the NFL that you try to perfect your game towards, anything that you look up to to try to master on the field? Uh, I would say there's three receivers that stick out to me. because mine's coming. I already know who you're going to say. I say Larry Fitzgerald just for his fundamentals, Mm -hmm. the fundamental aspect of his game. I say Jarvis Landry for the just the savagery in his game. He's just hungry. Mm-hmm. He plays tough. And then I say Amari, Co- Amari Cooper for like his humility. He he balls out, but you never hear him talking mm-hmm. off the field. You yeah. never really see nothing on the field. So I try to take those three guys and just combine that into me. You know, hopefully one day if I get to that next level, you know, I can learn from them too. Justin, uh, first I'm gonna say Jerry Rice. His route. He's a he's an old school player. Uh, his route running is crazy. So I try to um, watch film on him and see how he gets in and out of his breaks. And uh, same with Antonio Brown. He's a great receiver for the Steelers. Um, I look at him as a big role model, too. And uh, Odell, of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of people don't like him because he celebrates. and But, I mean, nobody can really guard stop him or stop him. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's kind of what I – Very good. Up. So Justin Hill, Jared Ruth getting ready to take on the Otterbein Cardinals. Just a couple games left in the regular season until yeah, yeah. the old playoff time comes around. Definitely going to be time. interesting here for the Purple Raiders trying to get back to the promised land and be Stag Bowl champions once again. So I want to thank Jared Ruth, Justin Hill for the interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it locked in here on 91.1 WRMU as we will have coverage from Mount Union Stadium as the Purple Raiders get ready to take.